Just want to give you a quick shout out to Birdkeeper Toby. This video would not exist if it weren't for him and his awesome ideas. So please check out his channel, link below in the video description, obviously uh, because he started this whole tag. So sit back, enjoy the video, and sip on some green tea. How's the Gomi family scene here with a very special video. Very special indeed in very different than usual. Now today we're going to be talking about the Battle Frontier, or rather, my Battle Frontier. What would my Battle Frontier look like? If I were to create a Battle Frontier, what would it be? What would be the different challenges you'd have to overcome? That's what we're going to be talking about today. However, as opposed to an ordinary Battle Frontier, Mine's gonna have more of an Elite Four look. It'll be a very, very large island. Although, instead of being oval or round, it'll be like one straight path. With different challenges, or different frontiers, I should say. After you beat one, you earn the right to go to the next. And the next, and the next, and the next, until you arrive at the very end and face the last challenge. Now, upon arriving on the island, there's not going to be much to do. There's going to be a Pokémon Center, and that's about it. What do you do from there? Well, you surf, and there's a sea. You use Dive, you go underneath. And then the real challenge starts. Now, this very special challenge is going to be called the Battle Depths. Pokémon like Rallycan, things like that. They will appear in the water. But that's not part of the challenge, they're just kind of like an extra. The real challenge is that the whole area is a maze, a very, very big maze. And your goal is to find the relic items. Now, if you remember the relic items from Unova, the relic copper, the relic crown, the relic base, all those things you'll have to find. Of course, in order of the least pricey item to the most expensive. You search them, you can only find them in order. If you mess up the order, you're kind of in a bad spot. Because you have five minutes in between the items to find the next. The challenge is going to be a guardian. A guardian trainer that will guard the special item. You will have to fight the trainer, and if you win, you win the item, which you can then resell, earn a little bit of money, and of course during the challenge you can also earn experience, which is great. To start, the first Guardian will only have Pokémon around the level 10, the second will be in the 20s, the third in the 30s, all the way to the 6th, that will be all the way up to level 60. Now after collecting all 6 items, you'll be faced with a very special trainer that you may remember. It'll be Wallace, and he wants to fight you. He wants to fight you and he's the last barrier for you to obtain your first victory here in the Battle Frontier. You'll have the same team you faced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire in the post-game of the Delta episode. But this time, the levels will be different. He'll be pretty strong and he'll go all the way up to level 70 with the same Pokémon. The movesets will be completely different and his team will be more competitively viable. Now, if I talk about any teams in this video, I won't be going into details about what their movesets are, what items they'll use, or all that. However, I'll link all the paste bins that I am thinking about in the video descriptions. There's going to be some really cool and intricate boss fights, and all of them will have their special movesets, their signature abilities, and all things like that. Special items as well, and tricky ways to beat you. So if you go in the video description, click the links, you'll find the teams, and you'll be able to reuse them in either Pokemon Showdown or something else if you want to try them as well, or if you want to try and practice for the real matches. If you do beat Wallace, you'll earn yourself the right to have a mansion, kind of like in Platinum. You'll be able to purchase things for it, upgrade it over time, and it'll be your own personalized home. Now after facing Wallace, you'll enter a new area where there'll be the Battle Casino. Now it's gonna be very similar to the Battle Arcade. You'll face about maybe 50 trainers, uh, there's gonna be a roulette, every, every match that will be spun, and that roulette will land a handicap on each side. Maybe on your side, or on the other side, or on both sides, there's going to be something happening every match that's going to make the battle very interesting 
and is gonna put you or the opponent at a big disadvantage. If you manage to beat 50 trainers, you'll face Dahlia, the frontier brain that was in charge of the Battle Arcade back in Platinum. She's back, and for the Battle Casino this time. Her team will be comprised of Meloetta, because it seems like a fitting Pokémon, Togekiss, and Ludicolo once again. Her team will be level 50 like all the other trainers, and before the match, the one thing that'll separate this match from the rest is that you'll be the only one getting disadvantages, or handicaps. And those handicaps will be different from the roulette ones. As similar to all my rules in the Green Tea League, a Pokemon battling league that I created that happens about once a year, one Pokemon on your team is gonna lose an item, and another Pokemon on your team is gonna lose a move. Now they'll both be randomized, you won't know what to expect, and it'll be different every time you'll face her. But the thing is, you'll be at a pretty big disadvantage, even more so than when facing the trainers. So will you be up for the test? Will you be able to face Dahlia, and will you be able to win? If you do beat her, consider yourself lucky, and let's just hope your luck doesn't run out. Because what's gonna be next is gonna be the Game Corner. Yes, you'll unlock the island's most prized Game Corner. A Game Corner that transcends every other Game Corner you've ever been to. Lots of games, lots of mini-games, lots of gambling, and lots of fun things to do. Lots of prizes to be won as well. On top of that, you'll unlock the Grand Mall. Similar to Join Avenue or Festival Plaza, you'll maybe have the chance to manage the whole thing in the future, and you'll be able to build your own shops with a bunch of features specific to every shop as well. The third challenge is called the Battle Igloo. Now once that's you cross the sea, you face the casino, what's next? A big fat mountain standing in your way. Now there's a way to cross it, but not now. In the future you'll be able to, but not now. You're not strong enough, so you have to climb the mountain. Go all the way to the top. Now for the first half of the hike, it won't be too bad. You'll face a lot of hikers and maze trainers, but they'll all have Pokemon around the level 50. It won't be that difficult, especially if you've trained your Pokemon all the way up to level 100, it should be a piece of cake. Maybe you're around level 80 or 90 by that time, but overall it should still be a piece of cake. The catch, however, just like in the battle deaths, which I think I did not mention, is you can't heal. Now you'll be able to heal, don't worry, but at the halfway point. There's gonna be Pokemon Center, you'll be able to heal up, rest a bit, and then continue. The second half is going to be a little bit more difficult. The trainers will now be level 55. The ace trainers will still be there. However, the hikers will now be replaced with skiers and snowboarders. What's the difference? Now you're not just climbing a mountain. You'll be climbing a mountain full of snow and ice. We'll have to go through a lot of ice puzzles. Some simple and some very complicated. But the most dangerous thing, especially considering you can't heal, is gonna be the really, really cold winds that will attack you at random times. If you know where they are, if you see them coming, you'll be able to dodge them, no problem. But if you get caught off guard, your random Pokemon in your party is gonna get frozen. Of course, you can get rid of it, but it gets annoying over time, and very dangerous if you're low on items as well. At the very top, there's gonna be an igloo, and you'll be facing two trainers. It'll be a tag team. You'll still be able to earn experience, obviously, because the levels won't be set to 50, like in the casino. You'll be facing Grand Master Jack. And if you don't know who he is, he's from the Pokemon trading card game, the video game. He's an Ice Dug trainer, and he won't go easy on you. Now the second person will be Bryson. He's stronger than ever, older than ever, and his ninja skills have trained him and honed him into the perfect trainer. They'll have very strong Pokémon, you'll have to be ready, because it won't be easy. Jack will be using Dugong and Lapras, and his ace Pokémon will be Articuno. Now for Bryson, he'll have Weavile and Beartick, obviously, and his ace will be Regice. Two legendary Pokémon, how are you going to deal with that? They're going to be very, very strong. If you do overcome the challenge, though, you'll gain access to a bunch of move tutors, Oh, and some of those moves from the Move Tutors will be brand new moves. Some of them you'll see later as well. But for now, let's just keep the details low. 
Another thing you'll unlock is a very special sauna that you'll be able to run around in loops and hatch your eggs faster there. Why do I say faster? The hatch rate is going to be triple there. It's going to go three times as fast. If you circle around the sauna on your bike, you'll be able to hatch eggs very, very fast. And for competitive players, this area is going to be wonderful. After facing the cold Canadian weather of the Battle Igloo, you'll end up at the Battle Jungle. It's going to be a big, luscious jungle full of green with no trainers. Oh no, no trainer dares to venture in that forest or that jungle, I should say. It's too dangerous. The wild Pokemon there, they'll all be totem Pokemon. Ranging from level 50 to level 70, you won't be able to run away from them. They'll chase after you and you'll have to face about maybe 20 or 30 of them. Now at the end will stand a very, very familiar character from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It'll be our Rune. However, he'll be different. He'll now be a Pokemon Ranger, but a top Pokemon Ranger, the highest level of Pokemon Ranger there is. He's now an expert when it comes to jungles and forests, and he'll make sure to use that knowledge against you. His main Pokemon once again is going to be Flygon, however it'll be level 80. It'll be very very strong and difficult to beat. And not only that, he'll have Shiftry as well, a Mega Sceptile, Tangrowth, Tropius, and finally Tapu Bulu. Yes, as a Pokemon Ranger, he's earned the right to even capture Pokemon like Tapu Bulu. Now, they're not technically his besides the Flygon, but they're his allies, and they'll definitely put up a fight. If you do beat our Rune, you'll obviously unlock the super secret bases. But not only that, after going through an icy mountain and a luscious forest, you will now finally earn the right to go back or forth whenever you want without having to cross all that again. You'll gain access to the bullet train. And that bullet train is fast. It'll travel the whole island. It'll also unlock the rest of the island so that you can face the final, oh, the final trainer waiting for you at the very, very end. One trainer is standing at the very end of the island. Your final challenge. It is I, Xenia. I turn around, I approach you. I don't say much, only one sentence. Don't do drugs, do green tea. Be prepared, because this match is going to be very, very difficult. He's going to lead with a very, very powerful Shuckle. Now don't let that deceive you about Shuckle. It'll lead with the sticky web and lower your entire party's speed. Unless you're flying above ground, of course, but still. You may want to remove some of the hazards I'll be putting up in this match, but it's going to be very, very competitive. Now my second Pokémon is going to be Greninja, level 98. I have a strong connection with him. But don't let that fool you. We're not going to go Ash Greninja on you. We're not Simi Greninja, that's not going to happen. Oh no, just a regular Greninja is going to be enough to stop you in your tracks. The next Pokémon is going to be a Como, level 94. A very strong dragon type, it'll have dragon dance and a few other moves, it'll be very hard to stop. And you might have a few issues with it. Might even have its C move, who knows? The fourth Pokemon is gonna be kind of similar to Shuckle. It won't attack much, it'll be very defensive. A strong defensive wall I'd like to use, Gorgeist. Now that might be an odd choice, but Gorgeist, especially the super form, takes hits like nobody else. Now the Gorgias will also be level 92. But I have two other Pokemon left. The next one is going to be Metagross, level 97. Now the difference with this Metagross is it'll be my Mega Pokemon. Level 97, a Mega Metagross. It'll be extremely strong and will have a hard time fighting it. Mega Metagross has high defenses and high offenses as well. My final Pokemon, my ace Pokemon, is going to be a level 100 Blaziken. You might have seen it coming, but still, Blaziken is my mascot, it's the best Pokemon in the world, in my opinion anyway, but still, it's going to be very strong and you'll have a hard time stopping it. It won't go Mega on you. Regular Blaziken is going to be tough. I won't go into the set in details, but again it will be down below in the video description. 
After winning against me, you'll be able to face two returning Frontier Brains from Poem, Brendan of the Battle Pyramid, and the Battle Factory as well. You'll also be able to participate in contests now, and you'll have access to the Eon Flute, which will allow you to travel all over the region and the island to discover a bunch more legendary Pokémon. And just like Bird Keeper Toby did, I'll tag all of you as well. Now if you do make a video on it, please make sure to link his channel, because he was the one that started the tag to begin with. So it's only nice to do the same. Now if you want to create a Battle Frontier of your own, either make a video on it, or just tell me in the comments below. But I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Anyway, Ultra Sun and Moon is next. How's that going to look like? Battle Frontier coming back? Let's hope so, actually. Double cross for that. Let's double hope so. Anyway, hit the like button if you haven't already, or comment below again, that's really appreciated. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, or if you don't know who I am, my name is Senia. I'm a green tea addict. I forgot my green tea thing below, I was gonna pick up the video, but I guess that's not gonna work. But still, anyway, I'm a green tea addict. I'm Senia. I do a bunch of Pokemon content, currently a Pokemon Ranger Let's Play. I do stop motion animations as well, and skits when I have the time. I'll see you next time, but as always, Johnny.